I'm Chris Jones. Susan Simon and I founded the Hudson Literacy Fund in 2012. Our mission was to get books into the hands of Hudson students. Uh, we, we define literacy as uh, reading, writing, speaking, and listening, and all of our programs support that effort. We've had the Thumbs Up Reading Program, which kids read and review books of children's authors coming to the Hudson Children's Book Festival. They've turned in more than 5,000 reviews in the three years the program has been running. We give scholarships to college-bound seniors for books in their first semester to afford uh, materials and books. We have sourced books from all over, new books from all over, and provided them to the Hudson School Libraries to improve the quality of the library. And we have, um, you know, given good for coupons to kids going to the Hudson Children's Book Festival, good for a book, that they can pick any book they want at any price and uh, build their own personal library. So we've had a very successful run, but this year the board, when we, re when we convened in September after school started, we were concerned about how we would keep our programs going. One of the board members suggested that um, Lisa Dolan, actually, who's a reading uh, literacy specialist and um, and, a, and a board member has suggested that she's working with the 500 families who have chosen to learn virtually this year. That's a lot of that's a lot of kids, and many of them are in in homes with extra with siblings and learning at different levels. And she said she's observed kids using uh, coolers, ice co coolers, chests, ice chests waste baskets and pillows on their laps to kind of balance their Chromebook. This is really hard for them to focus and also there's other teaching going on in the same room with other siblings at different levels and the sound is a problem. So our board decided that we would uh, come up with an idea to do a program called Got Desks. We offered, we offered um, uh, the idea that it would be good to provide a foldable, collapsible little desk that a student could use as their desk, an earbud so they could block out the sound, and a sticker so they could personalize the desk. Um, Melissa Brown uh, worked with um, Mr. Brenneman, the principal, and the virtual learning students, teachers and students, and put out a form. They could first come, first serve, ask for a desk. And in a little more than a week and a half, we had almost 100 desks requested. Um, we sourced the desks from Staples at a discount, and our local Staples here in Hudson, and we got the institutional rate on earbuds for um, 100 earbuds for kids to learn. Um, also, we have stickers so they can personalize the desk in their own name. This last week, board members have called the 100 families. We divided them up. 100 families got called and told that they were getting a desk. And I have to tell you, it was thrilling. They're so excited to have the desk. The kids are excited. Every, every, the parents are excited because they're working really hard to get the kids to focus. So we, we think this could be a really good thing. If there's a greater need, we will launch a campaign and let the community support one, two, three, four desks if they want to support a desk. And that will be coming soon. Uh, we'll get that word out very soon. We're passing the desks out on Friday following the Columbia County Health Department's safety regulations for COVID. The kids and the parents will be in the cars. They won't get out. Same protocol as driving kids to school and dropping them off. The desk will be handed in. They're wrapped. The earbuds are wrapped. And um, I'm pretty sure the smiles will be pretty big. So um, I'd like to thank Mr. Brenneman, uh, Dr. Maria Setmeyer, Superintendent, April Prestopino, and also um, John Perry of Clever Property Management who's doing the heavy lifting and helping me get the desk from Staples to the school on Friday. Thank you. We, we hope you'll enjoy what I'm going to show you. <laughs> Here's the desk. For more information, go to our website, thehudsonliteracyfund.com. There's a donate button there, and you can donate funds, uh, a portion to the desk campaign, the Got Desk campaign. Thank you.